Hey everyone. Oh my gosh. I have a genuine smile on my face today. I have energy. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I still have like very much like a foggy head. I it's yeah, I'm still not hundred percent, but today is like the first day that I'm feeling alive again. And I actually am able to do stuff without like feeling like I'm going to collapse like a minute into it. I just got out of the shower and I just got done pampering myself. It's amazing how different my face looks when my eyebrows start to turn into one. Fun fact about me, I 1000% have a unibrow if I don't pluck. Like all through elementary and part of middle school, I had a unibrow. <laughs> until my mom gave me tweezers and I was like, thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I feel like in the, the videos for the past week, I've been looking really like interesting and different. And for a second I was like, is it just because I'm really pale? Cause I'm sick. I mean, I'm sure that was part of it. I always get like super pale when I'm sick, but I realized after plucking just now that um, it's also because I just had a unibrow growing. And apparently that really changes the look of my face. So I'm feeling more like myself right now. Not 100% because like I said, I still kind of have like a, a fogginess to my head right now. Um, but I was able to clean up the house today. I was able to put laundry away. And sorry, Luna like is getting comfortable on her bed down there. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um... I finally like made the bed and cleaned up over here. Like it, it's feeling like our home is like getting back to normal again. Um, but I feel like something needs to change up here in this loft because literally anytime me or Angel sit down to talk to you guys, Luna decides to make all this noise. <laughs> As I was saying, I feel like because we got sick literally right after we moved our home around and made this our bedroom up here, I feel like it's a little bit tainted up here with like our sickness and not great times from the past week. So I feel like I need to do something to kind of make it different up here. Um, I have no idea what that means. I think honestly, I think I'm gonna go on Facebook Marketplace and look for some fake plants. Um, the reason that I'm okay with getting fake plants is because, one, I think it will just liven up the place and do the opposite of what it was this past week. <laughs> but two, that's something that we actually want to put in our van. So I'm okay like going and spending some money on that because it's something that we'll actually use when we move out of this place. Um, anyway, I don't know. Something needs to happen up here because right now it just like is the place where we had COVID and it's, it's not a vibe that I want. So I'm trying to think about what I could do up here. Anyway, guys, I can't express how happy I am that I'm finally starting to get my energy back. I feel like my full energy probably won't be back until maybe Monday. It's Saturday today. So I think I still have this weekend feeling kind of foggy and not totally 100%. I feel like I'm at like maybe like 95% right now. Um, but Angel is back to work now. He is like totally, totally fine. Um, I have another COVID test tomorrow because I have to make sure that I get a negative COVID test before I go back to work on Thursday. It's so crazy that like I can't go back to work until Thursday because my boss still does the the 10 days of quarantine. Um, she doesn't listen to the the five day one, which I don't blame her. Um, you know, I work with a bunch of kids, so we really want to make sure that, you know, when we come back to work, we're good. So I can't go back to work until Thursday. Um, man, I have a rehearsal running today because um, there is a showcase happening next Sunday and today is like the dress rehearsal and I hate that I can't be there with my kids to make sure that like they're ready for the stage. I won't even be able to see them in classes this week because my classes are on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm like, oh, anyway, my amazing boss is helping me out there. She's going to run the rehearsal and make sure that they're ready for the stage, which thank goodness, but it's still so hard for me not to be there. Um, but guys, 
If you live in Seattle or you know about Seattle, you know that the winter is very dark and gloomy. We were talking about this like a week and a half ago. We have, okay, so it's Saturday. We have a full week of sun. I don't know what is happening, except I do, it's global warming, but it's crazy. It's just, it's weird. This is very weird. Like it's January. December and January are usually like the darkest months here, but it's insane. Like I actually have the window open today and I'm in a tank top and shorts. I'm okay with it. I'm very happy. <laughs> the sun makes me so happy. Anyway, um, I just wanted to pop on and let you guys know that I really am doing much better. I'm so grateful. Um, you know, I pampered myself a little bit and I don't really know what I'm going to spend the rest of my day doing. Um, yeah, I have no idea to be honest. I'm, I'm as much as I am feeling better. I'm trying not to like do too much too soon. You know, I was talking about this a couple days ago, how I just, I always do that. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just uh, gonna enjoy the sunshine and um, just slowly get back into the swing of things. <laughs> I just finished recording a quick episode for my Society Says podcast. Um, it was basically just talking about health and how we should be a lot more appreciative and grateful for the bodies that we have. And just, you know, if you're someone who is able to feel good most days, I think that we need to show appreciation a little bit more, you know, and one of the things I talked about was I think just implementing more into your weeks, you know, kind of like your weekly routine, I guess, where you're showing your body more care and appreciation and just being grateful for the body that you have. Because I know that there's a lot of people out there that um, really struggle with loving their body. Um, whether it's the look of it or maybe the health conditions that they struggle with. Um, but one way that I want to start going a little bit further to show my body appreciation is um, pampering it. I don't, I, I just, I never really pamper myself. The most that I do to pamper myself is like I get my nails done or I get my hair done every once in a while. But other than that, I really don't do anything to like pamper myself and to like just show my body some extra love. So I just want to start doing that more, I guess, whether it's like doing a face mask or, you know, getting into like oils and lotions and, you know, massaging that into my skin. Um, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, but I just was talking about that on the podcast tonight. Um, and kind of just like giving people a reminder to just be thankful for the body that you have. So, um, I was thinking about recording another episode just to like stay on top of it because this will be going up in two days on Monday. Um, and so I was like, maybe I should record another one so that I already have that like ready to go. But I don't know. I don't want to overdo it. See, I am feeling more energy today, but I also just really don't want to overdo it. I don't want to end up like feeling bad if I like do too much tonight. So I don't know. Um, hmm. I'll probably look in my notes and see like if I have any topics that I feel like I could say a lot about right now, but if nothing is really hitting me, then I'm probably just gonna go with that tonight and maybe try recording later, maybe on like Monday or Tuesday. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Tonight has been kind of nice. Angel is still outdoor dashing. I think he'll be back home in like an hour and a half maybe. Um, but my friend Chloe came over to say hi, just really quick. Um, I think she was here for like 20 minutes and that was just really nice. I haven't seen any of my friends in so long because, well, I haven't seen them since like November, October, November time, because, um, 
the holidays were just crazy. And then the start of this year was crazy as well. And then we got sick. So yeah, it was really nice to see a friend. Um, I really want to actively do better at making time to see my friends. Um, anyway, yeah, before I go on, <laughs> on like a whole other thing, um, I just kind of wanted to check in, let you guys know what's been going on. Um, not much has happened today because I'm trying not to overdo it, but Angel will be here soon and we're probably just going to watch a couple episodes of 30 Rock and then go to bed. But I think tomorrow he's not working because we have some things that we need to take care of tomorrow. Um, but I think Monday he is going to work. Usually he doesn't work Sunday and Monday, but I think Monday he is going to have to work, which totally fine. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll pop on one last time before we go to bed. What up? I wanted to let you guys know that I've been out dashing. Actually, fun fact, today I saw this guy door dashing on his, bi on, on his bicycle. Bike. Bike. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> yeah, he was door dashing on his bicycle and I was like, what the heck? But what he does is he works in the city of Seattle and then he just dashes around that area um, on his bike and he has a whole system down. Like he got the coffee and he wrapped it in saran wrap and then like neatly placed it in his in his bag on the back of his bike. It was like a really good system he had going and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool that he doesn't need a car to, da to door dash in, you know? Um, and he doesn't need to pay for gas or anything. He probably makes a lot of money just biking around downtown because downtown Seattle, they pay you more for dashing. They pay you an extra 250 for every dash that you do. So if he's getting, let's say his average um, pay was, you know, uh, like $10 per delivery, he just has to do 10 to make 100 and it's all profit because there's no gas, there's no maintenance on the vehicle. He has to do maintenance on his bike, but I mean, come on, right? Like, <laughs> how expensive can that be? <laughs> but I really liked his idea. Um, I would love to check it out, but I don't own a bike. <laughs> Nor do I want to invest in a bike yet. Um, so, but I think it's a really cool idea. Hey, can you back out of the video here? <laughs> oh, oh, where's my face? There it is. But yeah, yeah, so um, really interesting day today and it's been great. I'm so glad. <laughs> no, I'm so glad we're feeling better and all recovered and we are good to go according to the CDC guidelines. You always hold it at an angle. There we go. I Whatever. want them to see my under chin. Whenever I, edit, see. <laughs> Whenever I edit, like you talking, you always have like such a huge face down here, like, skinny as it goes up. What do you guys think is my... Uh... <laughs> Fine, fine. There we go. But yeah, so good day, and uh, we are back, and we can't ready to start tackling some hikes and getting back because we are like two weeks behind now <laughs> on our goal. <laughs> hundred trails in one hundred days. It's okay. We have yeah, a lot it's... of time to make up. So, like, we have a lot of time to make it up. So I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried either. We got this. Probably just got it from now on. If we just do two <coughs> hikes a day, which is, I mean, that's kind of impossible, but we just got to yeah, do, I don't think we'll be able to do that maybe day. on the weekends, we got to do extra two, like three, mm -hmm. three trails. I mean, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get it, like, get caught up. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we will keep you guys all updated on that and how healthy we are. <laughs> <laughs> 